Yeah, I told you to wake me up at 4 o'clock. Do the head. You up, right? I just got up. But you should have woke me up when I asked you. I said I just got out the bed, but you should have woke me up when I asked you to. Okay. See, it shouldn't have zeros on there. Okay. Okay. Gosh, can y'all see that? 247.6. I was 251 last week, so. Anyway, I am at um, the produce store. I so want these, but $49 never do. Look at how pretty these honey crisp apples are. Oh my gosh. Like all of the apples are gorgeous. And I can't have no apples. I am crying deep, 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 deep on the inside. But I'm just going to get what I came here to get. Excuse me. Carrots, but I can't have it. Ooh, lettuce. I know I ain't come for lettuce, but God, dog, look how pretty they are. I cannot not get them. Uh, came for cabbage. They got the purple cabbage and the regular cabbage. You know I got to do it right. I got to be interested today. I'm going out for my budget, but it's going to be to the good. Because I got to get these cabbages. And them onions, they for another recipe that I saw, that I have decided I'm going to make if I can. If I end up with all the ingredients when I get home. And you cut these onions and freeze them, I think I can. But it's like a stuff real good. Okay. These are 99 cents a pound. I can get a small one, but I just want just the color. Purple cabbage red. They say red, but I say purple. <laughs> the regular cabbage is 79 cents a pound. Okay, the yellow bell peppers are 3 for a dollar. The red are 2 for a dollar. And the green are 4 for a dollar. Yep. Bell peppers. And look how pretty they look, y'all. Okay. Yeah. I love bell peppers. Might make me some kind of bell pepper salad too. <laughs> I just get cauliflower rice and call it a day. I was gonna buy cauliflower, but I don't see any. Look how big these onions are. Oh my God. That was so cauliflower made me feel like I was doing stuff. So I'm all excited to do everything right now, which is awesome. 
great when you do it right and then you get payoff from it. Damn, should I get more than one? I'm just gonna get one onion. This mug is ginormous. I'm just gonna get one. Ooh, y'all, look how pretty these big old cauliflowers is. Oh. Thank you. Here, what? Okay, so I got everything. And got me some vegetables for my food prep at the produce store, a produce market, and Fido. <laughs> now I gotta go to, um, I guess Walmart, unless it's a, a, a Piggly Wiggly or something somewhere nearby. So, we're gonna. $10. Coconut flour is $5. The almond flour is probably more. Though. Jesus, I don't want to spend this kind of money. Sugar in it. We're gonna see what it do. They say that eating healthy is not expensive. You shitting me. I'm doing this damn keto thing. And yeah, I can it, it's not expensive if I don't get what I want the majority of the time. But if I want to make interesting recipes or get what it is I want, this shit get expensive than a mug. I just spent about $130 when I was only intending on spending about $40. Now, I'm going to show y'all when I get home, what I got was on the list, and then what I got that was a little bit extra. But still, if I had just hit my list, I still would have been looking at, I think, about 80, 90 bucks. I'm like, oh my God. And I got the, um, the almond flour. Expensive. But I had found two of them. I found one almond flour at Winn-Dixie, and I, I'll tell you the price, but I know it's more than what I paid for this one. And then I found the almond flour in um, Walmart. But the one in Walmart had a little bit of sugar in it. And if I see sugar, it's like red flag, don't get it. So I don't get it when I see sugar, so I didn't get it. I saw some cream cheese with strawberries in it. Flipped it on the side, it got sugar in it. So what I did is I bought the regular cream cheese. I got some strawberry flavor to drop in it because that has no sugar in it. And then I got me some ranch seasoning. So I'm going to mix all that together and see if I like that. And then when I make these crackers, I can dip them in the cheese and it's going to be love. Let me see what she's talking about. So I'm a big ass spoiled baby. And I got my, my, my three on my hand. They, they spoil me pretty good. So whenever I need something, I just go ask them and they figure it out, tell me what to do, and then I do it instead of doing it on my own. So today, when I was fussing about the um the almond flour, I called one of my threes, which she knows everything as far as the health thing that I'm doing. My other three know everything about everything else. So I called her and I was trying, I had looked at the price wrong. I was trying to figure out something about this almond flour. And she was at work and having a bad day at work. And she was like, so what was that? look, I'm at work. Just look it up. And, and then um, you, you weigh the pros and cons. Of it. And I was like, okay. So then she sent me a message on Polo when she was situated. I was like, I wasn't trying to be me. I'm like, duh, it is all love. Sometimes I got to be pushed to do what the fuck I need to do. Like sometimes, do it. That, that I got to get that. So. <laughs> I, I know she thought I probably about feelings was her that I was bad because so I was like, oh, okay, bye. But I know she at work. So, and I would have kept her ass on the phone. I still would have been in the damn store right now talking to her, trying to figure it out. And she would have told me, just do it. And so I just did it and it got done. What? I'm awesome. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I just made it back from the grocery store. And I spent way more money than I was supposed that I had planned. To my daughter washed the dishes, but what she do, she leaves the dishes in the sink. And I told her that I was food prepping her. Like, I really want to beat her. I think these dishes are supposedly, allegedly clean. Allegedly. Allegedly. And we got a dish drainer, you guys. It'd be something different if we didn't have a flipping dish drainer. Okay, I bought all of these, all this food, but I'm not. I don't have time because I spent way too much time at the grocery store to actually prep this morning. And I'm going to throw all of this in my crock pot, let it cook for about eight hours. 
Then I'm gonna put the greens in, let it cook for like another six hours, and then it's gonna be mm -mm, good. I went to three stores, so we're gonna do the vegetable store first. So I wanna make me a stir fry. So I got this for my stir fry from the um. I spent twenty dollars at the fruit store. So let me show you everything I got from the supermarket or whatever. I got celery. I got uh cabbage. I got a lettuce. None of these things do I need right now. So we're gonna throw all this in the bottom of the pit bag. store. I got the biggest onion in the fucking world. I got uh red cabbage. I say purple. So I'm gonna put both them cabbage together to make it look pretty. I got green onion. None of which I need right now. I got all the colors of the rainbow of bell pepper. I got no I ain't get orange. They didn't have orange bell peppers. But I got yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper. Uh, it was three yellow for a dollar, two red for a dollar, four green for a dollar. Bell pepper. So I got uh, a stalk of broccoli, and I got some red onion. I need a red onion because I'm going to make me some tuna fish right now. Okay, but I don't need that. Okay. All of I got garlic. This can I need right now for what I'm gonna cook. I got cheese I don't need right now. I need this cheese right now for what I'm gonna cook right now. I won't need this until I get ready to make that mousse. I still got about a cheese that I'm supposed to have to make the mousse. But I got it. I got cauliflower rice for my stir fry, but since I bought fresh cauliflower rice, fresh cauliflower. I'm going to try to make that do what it do for me. I got mayonnaise, but I don't need the new mayonnaise. I need pickles for my tuna fish. I don't need this right now. Well, yes, I do, because I'm going to make me some coffee. Right now. Y'all, I am all over the place. Please forgive me, but I was expecting to be home like about an hour and a half ago. My thing was I was going to prep, exercise, right on my thing, drink me some coffee, and have myself the best. Yay, my daughter is back at school day ever. But stuff don't always work out like that for me. One of these right now. And put the rest. I'm going to have to figure this out. This, 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 this whole situation I got going on up there, I'm about to figure that out. Okay. I spent far too much fucking money for this, but I want what I want. So... They got a small, they got a bigger bag at Walmart for about the same much money. However, I'll be damned. This one got sugar in it too. Well, the bigger bag was like $2 more. And I just feel, I, I bought it, I keep it, $2. They got me. They got me. They fucked me that time. Okay. I mean, I'm doing the Win Dixie stuff. Well, actually, I'm doing like both of them. Okay, but this came from Win Dixie. Yeah. I missed the good sale. I think I told y'all earlier in this video about missing the good sale. The bacon is for something else that I have in my mind that I'm going to make because I saw it and it looks good. I don't need this right now. And I don't need this right now. Didn't mean to get two things of bacon, but ha ha. Okay. I need this, and I need one of these for what I'm going to do right now. Do I need butter? I don't think I need butter, but I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the butter out. I got these just because I needed them in my life. And I got some canned tomatoes because soup. And I'll be back later to tell y'all how much this shit fucking cost. It made me want to cry. I'm sit down with the uh, receipts and do the math. But I'm thinking I spent about $130 and that was so not the plan. The plan was to spend no more than $50. And I spent like $130. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at my coffee. <laughs> it's got heavy whipping cream. Then I got, let me, you see that on the top? You see that on the top? 
No sugar, baby. So I got heavy whipping cream, that, and then some monk sweet monk sweetener chocolate taste. So let's see what it tastes like, cause I don't know. Yes. Still, it still don't whoop my uh, my my hazelnut creamer. I don't think nothing's ever gonna whoop hazelnut creamer. But when Precious drinking her hot chocolate, I could I could pretend. Mm. That cream right there. If it had a little sugar in it, I would swear I'm eating a Reese's cup, Melissa. Mm. Delicious. I got everything to make my crackers. I can't have that. So this is what I'm making. Because I had already boiled my eggs. I just threw me some bacon in. I got me some ranch. I got me some mayonnaise. That's going to be dinner. Hey, y'all. So I'm back on my bus. And it's almost eat, eat time. And I'm actually hungry now. Like, that's weird. Because I'm never hungry. Maybe I'm excited to eat my food. <laughs> I want y'all to see me try it. So, this is my egg and bacon salad. Can you see it? And I got pickles in there too. Okay. I'm waiting for this one minute to go by. One minute, just so. Oh, there it is. It's actually good. Okay, here go my crackers that I made. So let's see how it works out together. Sorry about that. My co-workers wanted me to move my bus up some. This is actually really good, you guys. A party in my mouth. Alright, I'm gone. Good night. I'm Batman. The best coffee on keto that I've had. Again, that's and and to, pecan. That's my night night snack. It's five o'clock. So we'll say I stop eating at five. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. And do all the food prepping and stuff tomorrow.